Hello Friday, bye bye October. This is The Week That Was with me, your host, Simon Brown. Chantal is off this week, but Sussman uh, Securities' David Shapiro is back from his travels. Vestax Bright Kamala still in the house. Gents, hello, welcome David. You've been gone forever and a day. Markets just kind of carried on yeah. without you. And they're going to carry on. And they do. Even hey? if I'm here, yeah. They're looking good. I still, uh, you know, despite the fact that they might stumble from time to time, I think we're in a upward trajectory globally. Yeah, yeah. I think even even the SA market, you know, from time to time volatile, but you can you can just sit back and watch it. You know, don't worry whether it's going to be another rate hike or I mean another rate cut. It doesn't matter whether it's this month or next month. It's going to happen. You know, we're in the right area. We just got to get through the election time. Yeah, well, you've <laughs> say 10 days and then we're free. Yeah. Well, you know, 10 days and then three months yeah. of Trump threatening yeah. the world. Uh, D David's right. I mean, this is just a bull market, right? And, uh, remember in January last year, we said, can we lock it in? And that yeah. was a good idea. This January, we said, can we lock it in? Terrible idea. Markets just carried higher. Yeah, we would have been very wrong had we locked yeah. it in. This, <laughs> because the market seems to be uh, unfazed. I mean, we had many different records, including 26 days of... Um, no back-to-back -back down days, except yeah. this week we had three da down days. Now we're back in the green. It's it's insane, and we had uh, 22 weeks of actual you know markets in the green every single week, which was one of the longest since like 1976 or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I was a uh, great. One. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's been mm. it's been quite the market uh, to say the least, and obviously. Uh, the right choice would have been, like you said, just long and strong. And earnings are there to support it. This isn't a fake rally like we've seen many other times. There is earnings coming through. So there were earnings, especially at the beginning of the year, earnings were really strong second quarter. There were doubters, but they were even stronger than the first quarter. So now third quarter, obviously, everyone was like, this has to be the quarter where things leveled out. I mean, we've seen uh, things like luxury, for example, not doing so well. Yeah. Um, but that seems to be isolated and mostly um, a China story. Uh, so China is not buying your uh, Gucci. I'm sorry, your business is not going to be doing well if half of your business is Gucci. So that's the story of caring. Um, LVMH is a little bit more diversified, so the, the, the revenues are positive there. But, you know, those are the stories, you know, that are isolated from this bull market. Mm. Hermes, Ferrari, still that was fantastic. Well. Yeah, because yeah, that's super ultra high a, end. A, a, a limited know, edition know, car. I forget the numbers. Like, there's only fifty of them. They're like eight million dollars each, and they are and that, sold out. I was about out. to say the out. bad news is we're launching it today. We just wanted to tell you it's sold. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was sold, sold out, out last year. Exactly. Yeah. It is gone. <laughs> also making news this week: the orange one served some fries at McDonald's. Another have any cola <laughs> outbreak. Everyone loving the bricks and Putin rip Christine Boyson. If you don't know who she is, Google her. But mm -hmm. careful, not safe for work. One of our recent Joburg mayors and high MMC for community development has been arrested and put on special leave. Shouldn't they just fire him? Musk is bribing voters in swing states, much like the ANC t-shirts <laughs> and food parcels. Awkward. Three-minute hugs is the maximum. The NASPAS boss writes us a letter, and apparently it's all about AI. Talk about high-level strategic insights. The IMF gives us an upgrade. The PGMs rally on a possible further Russian sanctions. But first, let's start with that CPI number. A lovely 3.8% for September, lowest in over three and a half years, while our good governor tells Bloomberg we need lower inflation targets. Hence his strictness. He has Annabel Bishop, chief economist at Investec, on what that great-looking number was all about. Putting today's figure into our model, it does show the next two after this will also start with a three as well. You know, we did expect to see inflation fall quite substantially, obviously dropping from 4.4%. Yeah. And we thought it would come out around the 4% mark. So, of course, you know, coming out at 38 is wonderful. I think, you know, the consensus expectation was for 38 as well. And, of course, as we approach the um, release date, you know, more and more data came in supporting this. It was a good number. Mm. Expectations are a good October. And uh, I mean, inflation locally, well and truly over at 3.8. But our governor was out there saying all horrible things. Well, not horrible things. He's mm. saying, he makes a good point and he references us to Chile. Mm. And he said, we both chose targets at the same time. They chose three. We chose three to six. And they've done better. I think the problems here are structural. Yeah. 
You know, and if you look at electricity, your electricity prices are not going down. <laughs> They're going to just keep going out at a huge pace. And it's still very much part of what drives businesses. You know, food prices, we can never, uh, we can never guess. And, and fuel as well. You know, if you look at the, the RAND, it was 17. It's nearly close to 18 and so on. So you've, you've got issues like that that are going to play through all the time. I think we're stuck in that range, you know. Three Until we kind of drill our own oil. And until we drill our own oil, oh, yes. well, that's yeah. not going to yeah, happen. Yeah. Well, we yeah. keep on finding it. Yeah. You just can't drill it. No, we need to drill it. Frack the Karoo and no, drill the, the, the just east coast. drill, man. If America is drilling, we drill. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Drill, What's baby, drill. Exactly, because I mean, Except we are the ones some. suffering in this country. <laughs> <laughs> not them, then Europe. <coughs> if we, suffering. yeah, we'll probably find coal or gold or diamonds or something, but not everything oil. else. Yeah, <laughs> not oil. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have everything but all. The 3.8 euro bond holder. Uh, we, I mean, to David's earlier point, we're getting a cut in November. We can debate the nuances, mm. but we're in that rate cutting cycle, whether it's slow or fast. Look, and look, you and I were talking about this this stuff when um, the five year was treating us very handsomely. Uh, just after COVID, even during COVID, where, you know, um, no, no, just after COVID, around 12 and a half percent. You're not going to get that now. It's below nine. It's that's not where you want to be. You want to be in the stock markets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I agree with you. Now, I think, I think and you know, the, some of the results coming out are OK. Yeah. You know, uh, we've gone through that rough period. We've gone through that um, down period. We're now on that on the way yeah. up. It and might not be at the current We've got electricity. Pace. Yes. Yeah. And what's the reverse of ringing the alarm? Because yeah. Tesla came out with numbers, they didn't ring the alarm. <laughs> they, I don't know, <laughs> open nicely. I don't know who was short there, but they have been <laughs> going. If you don't go up 22%, yeah, I know. somebody's running for the hills. You know, a lot of people are running uh, for yeah. the hills. Well, the bricks are not running for the hills. It's happening in Russia. Our prayers <laughs> is closing up to the warmonger, and everyone wants to join with a queue of 30 states, all eager. Really, I mean, <laughs> this was some Goldman Sachs wonky idea that now suddenly yeah. half the world wants to belong to. And let's be clear with Russia as one of the key partners who's creating war in Europe. <laughs> Which is a bad idea. And all of it. If mm. the orange man does become president, he's threatened that he'll increase all tariffs by 100% to <laughs> all the people that choose that currency. So yeah. We're not going to get a Brits currency though, surely. Well, well, they, 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 tried, they wanted gold. They wanted to be backed <laughs> by gold, <laughs> oh, yeah, which went out in 1944 with, uh, Bretton Woods. with, with, with Bretton Woods. You know, mm. to back it with gold, in, unfortunately, as trade gets up, you know, as trade picks up, you haven't got the gold to support it. Can you mm. imagine? You're not going to have enough gold. You're going to have, uh, exa well, unless uh, America starts selling gold to them, you know, which they gladly do. <laughs> but, uh, you know, for me, bricks, <laughs> I, I always look at it and I said, you know, when we were at school, you always hated the head prefect because he was handsome, he yeah. was clever, he got the girls, Captain he was the best, the exactly. Team. So you built a club, you know, he said, okay, we're going to have our own little gang, which excludes <laughs> him, you know. And, and for me, Bricks is like an anti-American gang, you know, we're going to gang up. Anyone but the head boy, or exactly. in this case, anyone yeah, exactly but America. Like that. And at the end, we still listen to their music, <laughs> we still wear their clothes, and we still we use their phones, everything. we exactly. consume everything and we, American. And we transact in US yeah. dollars. Mm. Yeah. Okay. A trio of Witz boffins have published a report in the Sasso Secunda plant. It is the world's worst single point emitter of carbon dioxide emissions and changing the feedstock would cost one trillion za. Game over except we need those petrochemicals. The, the Sasso, so Twitter is full of people loving Sasso, and it's now, just before we came in to record, 101 bucks. Yeah, and going down. And going down. Yeah. Are they, they, you and know, you can you tell You've got to understand the history of, of, of Sasso. You know, it's, it was built there to, as a sanction buster sure. for the apartheid government. There was no, in fact, in the early days, uh, they were producing oil significantly higher than the current price, mm. and the government used to subsidize mm. that. So, you know, it's places, there's no real place for Cecil. Well, except it's 30% of our petrochemicals in Cecil. Yeah, Africa. well, sure. What are you saying? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. I, the, the challenge is we need to shut it down. We can't shut it down. No. We need to clean no. it. We can't no. clean it. Uh, we can clean it. We just have uh, to keep trying harder. Trillion, yeah. trillion, trillion bucks. Nah, those guys never listen to the... Uh, the academics. The, the, no, the, the quantums that the academics come with. Yeah. Listen to... What, when they tell you where the problem is, yeah. don't listen to their solutions. Yeah.
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But that's why they went to Lake Charles. That's why they went to chemicals, you know, <laughs> that to work. try and get away <laughs> from diversify from away. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's, yeah. yeah. So and who was head of coal procurement? Who was that? Andrew de Ritter. Oh. <laughs> Before <laughs> NAMPAC. He was SAS for head of coal. Of course, yes. Course. <laughs> How can you forget that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The IMF has upgraded our GDP to, well, 1.1% <laughs> for this year, 1.5 for next year. Still bleak, but improving from 0 0.7 uh, for the 2023 number. I don't know, me thinks we could do better, but it comes to the earlier point. We've got power, we've got a functioning yeah. government who bicker, but what the heck they... You've got, you've got massive unemployment, wow. you know, and that's a problem. It draws on our resources. You know, you've got how many people on social grants, you know? Um, 16, 20 million people. No, 30 or 30 million, I've whatever I'd it is. I forget the number. You know, it just takes away from any chance of actually growing. When you look at that's the That's more than half. Yeah. Population. Yeah. 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 On ground. If you include the, the SDR yeah. that came out in the pandemic of what was then 350 and is now 370, I think it's 32 million people. Yeah. We have a population of 60. And then you expect people to vote accordingly. 7 million taxpayers. <laughs> well, the, the direct yeah. tax, income taxpayers, because of course it's VAT. And it's like having 10 kids. You know, if you've got 10 kids and you've got a school, you're never going to survive. You know, you just, you want children? Have one, two, maybe, but not 10. Mm. Don't listen to him. Have 10 <laughs> kids if you want. I have zero kids. That's my recommendation. <laughs> what do they call us? Uh, Dinky, double income, no uh, kids. Uh, but, but right, it is structural. That's the trick. I mean, you know, we have got everything we need. Lower inflation, yeah. uh, uh, interest rates coming down, electricity is working. Okay, no water. but And yet we can still only do one and change. Yeah, I mean, it's more of a story, you know, we need something that's going to get those wheels turning now in terms of stimulating the economy where we're seeing more and more uh, companies feel confident that they could grow their mm. staff complement. Mm. I don't think we are there yet, mm. but we're heading in the right direction. And obviously, if we're talking about Cecil getting out of, you know, the loop, that's more people without jobs. They actually want to do the opposite. 28,000 people. We yeah. need, we need. We need hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people to have jobs in South Africa. Whether you're talking about um, office jobs, but most importantly, blue-collar jobs that actually mm -hmm. contribute directly into the economy. See, that used to come with the gold mining industry. Yeah, they just be you know, that's just, jobs. Yeah. 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 And that's gone. Mm. So you've got to start building new mines or factories where you, you make everything Drill. by hand. Drill. <laughs> Drill, baby. Drill. <laughs> After the break, sensors working again. We've got results. And uh, careful how long you hug for.